Nowadays, composers have a lot of help from technology. Some of them compose with the machine, with the computer, and which can play back what they have written. But I think in the long run, one must have the necessary craftsmanship without having to use the machine. Then you, you have everything in your mind before you actually come to write your music. So that is the part for the composer. And for the conductor, uh, of course, there's no shortcut. You have to really study note by note. And of course, you, especially when you're playing a piece, by a living composer, you can always have the privilege of talking to them and discuss with them and um, get first-hand information for them. And this is a wonderful process of music making. First of all, as music director, I need to be very careful in my selection of contemporary work and or selection of composers who are working with us. And secondly, I think we have been very lucky to have a concert master who's really into contemporary music. And in fact, he's a composer himself. So when the concert master is showing a very positive attitude, then the rest of the musicians will be okay, following their leader. So that's a big help. I think it is a good combination because we are at the same time critical and we are adventurous and we play contemporary music with a very positive attitude. Classical music is for everyone, so we have kind of classified our concerts into different category so that people when they look at our brochure they will know exactly which concert is suitable for them. For example one of our very successful collaborations with McDowell which is a very famous cartoon character in Hong Kong. We have collaborated with the creators of McDowell for over 10 years and we have produced about 10 productions so far which are very very popular. I'm sure audience would be happy with what we present. Actually, the Hong Kong Symphonietta has been commissioning local Hong Kong composers to write new works for us over the past 20 years. And also at the concert, before we play that piece, we will probably give one to two minute introduction to this new work. Uh, so as to highlight the points of interest. Some of our audience would come up to us and say, I really like that piece because whatever you explained before, I could hear them. So it's a kind of achievement for them. And now our audience are fine with that because if they enjoy listening to new sound, they would say, okay, then I learned something new. When I try to relax, I try not to listen to music because it's uh, very hard not to think about some of the technical side of music making, which is very tiring, can never relax like that. I think uh, doing yoga really helps. And during um, yoga, you can, of course, try to focus more on your breathing and that will help to um, take your mind off your work. Uh, it really works for me and it also helped my posture and helped to release tension from the shoulders. For conductors, we need to stand for a long time, long periods during rehearsals and at concerts. So we must have a very good body. Mm -hmm.